All right, so going to change the uh, differential fluid in the front axle on the 2016 Sierra. First thing we got to do is get this splash shield. GM actually calls this a skid plate. It's nothing but plastic, so there's no way it's a skid plate. It's a splash shield. Um, got a couple 15 millimeters in the front, and I think the rest are going to be 10 millimeter. So... We'll see how this is going to go. Let me kind of see if I can get the right angle here. Oop, too much. Uh, actually, I get. I'm going to get all the ten millimeters first. And you could probably just get by with doing that right there if you wanted to just drop just the 10 millimeters down and then let it hang. But I'm going to go ahead and do all of it. Time to inspect everything, make sure everything looks good. There's your differential. And right here on the side, you got your drain plug, you got your fill hole. So let me get a pan and uh, we'll get this done. You're gonna need you're gonna need to buy two quarts. It holds about uh, one and a half quarts, according to the book. One point five one is what it what it calls out. It is synthetic, and in fact, let me show you what I ended up buying. Okay, so what I ended up going with to put in this front differential is this Super Tech from Walmart, full synthetic gear lube, seventy five ninety. Seventy five ninety is what the uh, manual calls out the factory flood is GL5 rated just as this super tech synthetic fluid is so for a front differential I think this is going to be plenty good um, if you're the type of guy that changes it on a really regular basis there's no reason why this isn't going to do you know do the job for you now this was seven dollars a quart Versus the uh, the GM stuff is around twenty two, twenty three dollars uh, that I could find online. If you order it from GM, it's like thirty dollars a quart. So this is uh, is a little under seven. It's like six six eighty five, I think, or something like that. So I just decided to go this route, try to save some money, and uh, we'll climb under there and get get started. Okay, got the pan all set up. Um, what you're going to need is a 18 millimeter, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, 18 millimeter. Take the uh, fill plug out. Make sure you've got a drain drain pan underneath, just to make sure that if there's any that drains out, you're not going to make a huge mess. Make sure your O-ring looks good. Okay, that looked good. Now for the bottom, it's just the 3 8 square drive of the ratchet. Now 
Now this truck's got about uh, 80,000 miles on it. That that oil to me looks kind of nasty. The one thing you want to look at is the tip of your plug. All that should be on it is just a real super fine powder. And what that is, that is actually metal. But as long as it's super fine, you're that, that's perfectly normal. It'll last for hundreds of thousands of miles as long as that's all that it's doing. Um, if it's if there's chips or chunks stuck to it, then you've got problems. I'm going to take the plug and I'm just going to clean that, that powdery uh, contaminants off the tip of it. This is a magnet. That's why that's all stuck to the tip of that plug. Now there's a rubber seal. So anything with a rubber seal you generally don't tighten up, you know, real tight. Uh, can't remember what the torque is to be honest on stuff like this you, you just snug it up it's not it's not really that important that you get the torque exactly right you know? oh, great don't do that one way to lube up your ratchet Yeah, it's not important to you know to get the torque exactly on the money on stuff like this just just it ain't going to vibrate out it's got a rubber seal and uh, you just snug it up and, and you're done it's that simple you can kind of feel it I'm just going to use the bottle, and I've got this little adapter. You can stick a hose on it, but this is a little on-off deal. You can buy, I can't remember where I bought this, probably the parts store years ago. But what makes it nice is you can kind of tilt the bottle where you need it, and then uh, you can open it up once you get it in place. That way you're not spilling it all over the place. So I'm just going to stick it up here, kind of above the wheel. Just squeezing it in. Piece of junk.
All right, whenever it's running out like that, you're full. And again, this top one, just snug it up. Remember, there's an O-ring on it, so you don't have to bear down on it to try to seal it up. Just a nice little snug, and that's all you need. And that's it. nice and quick and uh, your front differential should last a long time to keep it changed out other than putting the splash guard on I'm done you guys take care